And the other question on the table is about this mushroom cloud meme uh, that's going around on social media. Mark, you spotted it today on a couple of people's posts that was, you know, pretty uh, much a turn off to you when you saw it happening because it basically advocates bombing with nuclear weapons people who believe in uh, Islam, essentially. That's basically That's the what idea. this thing yeah. advocates for. So if you agree with that, we definitely want to hear from you tonight. Let's go to the phones to the fun. Uh, we've got John listening in Indy uh, to WIBC FM. Hello, John. Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's on your mind tonight? Well, I saw that mem memo or memi, whatever you want to call it. Me meme. I saw that today. I know, that's what they call it. I call it a memo. I'm kind okay. of old. All right, fair enough. It's close enough. I, I looked at it, and I was going to post it because I thought it was funny. I mean, you know, I looked at it from more of a humorous standpoint. What, what part's funny about that? Post, well, I mean, you know, I'm not a little. I'm not going to get all into the seriousness of all of it. You know, like I'm going to. I'm not like one of those drama queens, and I'm not going to like you know get overly dramatic. I saw it from a humorous standpoint, but I recognize how PC sensitive people are. So I got a pretty large following on my social media account, and I really didn't want to get the blowback, you know. And I, I could have created a real, you know, uproar with it. It would have been fun for just conversation. Well, what's standpoint. funny about that? I mean, you haven't made that clear to me. Uh, I mean, what well, is well, funny well, about well, nuking a place? Well, the thing is, it, the, well, the thing that's funny is that it would solve the problem. I mean, from an efficiency huh? standpoint, I mean, we the industrial military complex doesn't want to nuke it. They want to continually just cause the turmoil and the, you know, the scary part, like we're supposed to be scared. I mean, it really, from an efficiency standpoint as a soldier, I mean, I would like to just end the whole conflict, you know, just get this over with. You can I'm end the conflict. You can just do that by going home and not bombing well, anybody. Well, and I, I understand where you're coming from, but you got to understand something. They're allowing this to happen. I mean, I know you guys Who's are open they? border people. But I'm not an open border person. And here's the thing. I mean, we don't let a thief in our house. We don't let a pedophile around our children. So why are we letting all these people in this country that are putting our, our, our basically our public safety issues? So I mean, you're a protectionist. A you, would you describe yourself well, as a protectionist? No, no, I, I'm, a fr I'm a freedom guy, but no, freedom you're not. Is, part of freedom is being safe. No. And why would you nope. let nope. all nope. these nope. Arabs nope. in? When you That's as ridiculous no of a European statement in. as, uh, what was it, Rudy Giuliani, uh, who, who said that oh, uh, freedom gosh. is obedience? I mean, that's just, just oh, kind gosh. of doublespeak nonsense. Freedom is obedience for your nation, for your people. You have a responsibility. No, that's not what freedom is, dude. How, this respons how is that uh, responsibility well, created? You're going in. You're looking at it from a global perspective, and you're taking. No, it I'm looking at it from an individual you're perspective, inviting, sir. You're inviting, you're inviting the, the the problem in, and then you're complaining about the problem. Well, hold on. I mean, uh, like no, the problem's the state, and you advocate for the state. That's the problem. No, I don't advocate for the state. Sure, you do. I you just advocate for closed borders. What are you going to do? Close it yourself? Well, you got to understand something. Do you, are you for a welfare state? No, absolutely not. Well, what about all I'm of I'm for no state, dude. Got, well, I know, but you got to understand something. You've got all these poor people coming into our country and taking our jobs. and You, you don't own your job. Where people you are a protectionist. Right? Just admit it. You're afraid of no, competition. I'm, 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 no, no. You want to outlaw competition. competition. No, you want cheap prices because you're a lazy ass. Well, hold on. You're going to get cheap <laughs> prices anyway, whether they send the labor whether they send the labor outside of the country or they bring you the labor exploit, into this country. You want to exploit labor for your own personal benefit. Exploit? I don't know what exploit you means. Want, you want to put people on welfare and you want someone else to pay for it. No. There's no evidence for any of those claims. Right. I don't. Oh, my gosh. I mean, we've got such a, we've got how many people on welfare and disability. We're giving disability out. We're giving drugs I don't know who we out. Is. And then um, we're, we're, give, we're giving Medicare. The me for United States out. government's doing just fine <laughs> handing out your tax dollars to those people. Yes. You're well, the here, one who supports the big government. Why are you complaining about what they do? You made you want the no, big I, government, no, dude. Either freedom works or it government. doesn't. You support the big government. You want people to be on welfare. That no, don't sir. Have jobs. You just asked me. No, 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 no. You asked me if I supported welfare. I told you I did not. So you can't keep claiming that I support welfare because I'm opposed to all forms of welfare, including military welfare. You want your people to starve. Huh? How are people going to starve? Yeah. Who's our well, people? You understand some, yeah, who uh, are my people? I mean, we're, 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 take, we're basically beating us all over the place. We're going from 
Um, we're going from uh, illegal immigration, and we're going from a. Uh, uh, now you just told me that my people are going to starve. I don't really understand right. how well, anyone's going to starve when we have good, hardworking immigrants here picking fruit and vegetables for us. I know, but you got people that are. We've got. We, we're printing money. We're. I'm not we're printing, printing any money, sir. I don't know if you 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 the should not, probably United not. States you should probably not. Uh, you should probably not admit to counterfeiting on money. national radio, the sir. Federal Reserve is the Federal Reserve is printing money with no back. Oh, I see. I mean, yeah. fiat currency. Well, that's how you're going to have to pay for your border wall your and cost. all your border enforcement for your big border well, government. I, I, I basically, I think that we should punish the people that are hiring them. And I think we should punish Who? the lazy people like yourself that don't want to pay a wage for people so they can take <laughs> care of themselves. Thanks for the call tonight, John. I appreciate hearing from you. I'm glad we found somebody. I didn't know if we, anyone was going to call in to support nuking uh, peaceful people around the globe just because they have a different religion from. Yeah, I'm befuddled by that whole call. Um, you know, minimum wage, I guess, uh, uh, tariffs. Um, but he's not a protectionist, Mark. So he supports a minimum wage and keeping people out to compete for his job, but he's not a protectionist. Hello. 